Hi there everyone and thank you for coming here to visit this channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get your fibres as soft as gentle as this, as this and that means your towels really, really soft and plump and look, just looking at this you can just see how how big a volume of towels we've got. You're going to need more space in your drying cupboard after trying this tip. So if you've been watching my other videos you, you'll have noticed that I've been trying lots and lots of suggestions on how to get the perfect towel and to give you a number of uh, suggestions have been uh, tumble drying using um, using uh, clothes lines to dry them in a nice soft breeze um, using steam irons to steam the steam the fibers after you've washed them using less soap so there's uh, less residue um, so lots and lots of videos if you want to look at them have a look at my other videos on this channel so here we go. The You're going to need a few things uh, to start off, but they're simple things. You'll have them in the house. Sodium bicarbonate, an empty uh, jar. I'm using a Dow Experts jar here, so it's got a lid on it. No one's going to think it's a juice or anything. I like drink it. So the, and, you know, see, this tip will change the way you condition your clothes forever. And that is exactly what I think. It's just mind-blowing how soft the, the clothes come out. So here we go. Uh, you need this jar, you've got your sodium bicarbonate there, you've also got a pine glasses with some water and I'm going to just basically dollop bicarbonate of soda in there, dollop, dollop, okay, and I'm going to then, well, I'll that a little bit extra, I'm then going to blend in the water, okay, now it doesn't have to be a perfect blend, but when you're doing this, uh, you're adding, there you go, just adding the water in, blending in, Da, 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 and then shove it in. Okay, so there we go. Once we've got all that mixed away, we're then going to add in one of two ingredients. You can add in essential oils into into here, or you can just use a hair conditioner that you may have lying around. So I've used hair conditioner in this, in this instant. It's not my hair conditioner, but I've used it uh, anywhere. So here we go. There's the hair conditioner. Okay, and as I said, it's not mine, so I'm not familiar with how to even work this dispenser, as you'll see. Whoops. Okay, um, but, you know, I learned fast. There we go. One, two squirts, and I'll collect that, throw it in there. Okay, so I'm going to stir that in. It will not stir in nicely, so what you need to do is just lock it up and shake the bottle um, and that will get you a nice a nice mix a nice smooth mix okay so we're going to just shake that bottle and there we go now you will notice how little foam there is if you're getting a lot of foam do not use it uh, you probably use shampoo but if you've got a lot of foam don't put it in your washing machine it's just going to cause you problems okay um, that's why i like to shake it as well okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, use this this will be the concoction that you use in your Soap dispens your uh, your fabric conditioner uh, dispensing unit, and a that's what you're going to pour in. Okay, now as I said, I've just made a small amount here, and a that that is essentially your your solution to the problem. Now, one thing I would say is that uh, if you're looking to get the towels uh, as nice as this ones, these ones looking as plump, you might as well use scents as well. 